try to make you comfortable, they try to put you in, 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 in a quite uh, nice situation with uh, standard food that look, like, look, look more like a, a dog food than food proper for wild animals, all right? Here, you live in a very small place in Brazil. You have space, although you don't have all this technological, you know, double glaze and things like that, and uh, you know, uh, but you have space. And uh, we need space to live. We need space to feel that we are part of the world, not a kind of a piece of object in a box. pitones momento de peligro está Five-year-old Levin Merritt lay unconscious at the mercy of a 450-pound silverback gorilla. The crowd watched helplessly. Never before had such an accident occurred. And never before had this full-grown male gorilla encountered a human being within his domain. Only the worst could be imagined. But what was to unfold this September afternoon would astonish the world. As the injured child regained consciousness, tension turned to panic. But Yambo, the western lowland gorilla, shattered an age-old myth. Prisoner in a world where man is king, he'd shown an astonishing sensitivity for human life. Human life. Human life. Human life.